Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the EA Sports College Football 2025 has been announced, and they actually released a trailer that I'm going to be reacting to in this video. We have been talking for so many years about if they're ever going to be, be bringing it back. The last one we had was in 2014, and we always talked over the years about like, oh, could they bring it back? Oh, is this the year? Oh, when are they going to do it? And here about two, three years ago, whenever the whole NIL thing kind of started to become a big thing, and nowadays in 2024, now that it's really become a really big thing, it became very clear in EA Sports pretty much had the pressure put on them to where they need to make this game because now you can do you can put players names on the back of the jerseys you can put coaches in there because players and coaches all getting paid so much money nowadays you can put their faces and names in the game and finally like i said we have now have an actual trailer that i'm going to be reacting to i'm going to be kind of going through we're going to just kind of watch the trailer anything important i'm going to talk about and then afterwards i'm going to kind of give my opinion on what i think the game needs to succeed and how excited i am so without further ado if you're going to enjoy as always make sure you go and drop a like on today's video be very much appreciated if you do so but without further ado let's get into it Now, real quick before I hit play, I'm going to let you know the video link is down in the description. So if you want to go watch it for yourself, feel free to do so. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play and let's see where we're about. So first up, we got the Rose Bowl Stadium. Pretty elite. Got some guy working got on. special for y'all. little update for our fans from the big house to the bayou. From Carolina. If anybody knows who this guy is, let me know. Because I've seen people online be like, is that so-and-so? But like, I was like, are they just trolling? But let's get let's get back into it. Yeah, it's about college football. Okay, so we got some jerseys going on. Uh, we got some Florida State, I think. Is that Florida State? We got red, Georgia, Alabama, maybe something like that. Orange, probably like a Tennessee. We got Florida right there. I think that was Michigan. He was working on. We know you love it. Us too. I do love it. The rivalries. Comebacks. Okay. The traditions and superstitions built by generations. There's you know it. Like it. Turns up. I'm going to say this now. I think the reason why they talk so much about the rivalries right there was because I think they're trying to bring back the whole mascot thing and they show the rivalries. Because if you look at the way they kind of did it, they show um, Brutus, they show kind of like the Notre Dame, the USC, everything like that. I think they're trying to make it to where like you think uh, the whole rivalry, like the mascot, see, they show like the Longhorn. Nothing like it. I think they're going to bring back the rivalry games. For those of you who watch, uh, play NCAA 14 or even going back to the days, you remember being able to have a game of like a bunch of Brutuses versus a bunch of Oregon, Oregon Ducks or a bunch of Texas Longhorns versus a bunch of Penn State Litty Lions. It was some fun time. Turns out we've been building too. You better be. Ooh, okay. So right here, you can see they're working on like the whole entrance run out that was a big thing uh 2014 didn't really have or like some of the games they kind of had some things going on before the game but we didn't really pay attention to it too much to be honest but it seems like they're kind of updating the graphics trying to make it to where like the pens Day run out during the wide out the nifty line leading the charge and all the players kind of fall behind that's going to be in the game kind of going forward a little bit uh we got the oklahoma boomer sooner they run out shoot off the cannons shoot off the guns the smoke goes everywhere it that's going to be in the game it looks like uh going forward you can see right there nayland stadium they're working on so it's going to be kind of like getting the full effect of all the people out there. You got the gator head rubbing the head. Kind of good luck. Kind of, I guess maybe like we can get some like people. Kind of like Madden, how you have like Road to the Show or like the whole uh, underdog story. It's going to be the same thing in college football from what I've heard. These are rumors. To where you can actually go on like a recruiting visit. Instead of just like, oh, I'm being recruited by this school. I'm going to put attention toward this school. and I'm going to make this school maybe my top three. Maybe we can have it to where we can actually go to the schools and like the coach walk us around actually recruiting us that'd be pretty cool okay so we got this all the mascots in there yep we've seen the posts yep the predictions yep i'm not gonna lie that one was my year that that one was my probably one of my posts game ain't coming out this year that was probably me uh be fake news yeah that's probably me a couple days ago saying this when i heard the news about the trailer possibly coming out doubts we get it it's been a minute it has been a minute let's just say this ain't the only jersey we've been working on now, what do you mean by that? Is that a little bit of a tease to saying, like, all these jerseys you see here, like the Georgia, Alabama, the Ohio State, uh, the USC, the Florida, all, all these jerseys, that's not the only jerseys you're doing? Could we be getting D2, D3 schools? I'm so freaking excited. The game this sport deserves. You know it. Because pretty soon, this place will be full again. It, it better. Then, Cue the crowd noise. It better be really happening. 
The question is, when is it coming out? Because I've heard people saying 2025, like, way in 20... Coming this... Coming this summer, full reveal in May. Okay. That's awesome. Now, obviously, when the game kind of gets more details out in May, we'll talk about it more then. But coming out in the summer, oh, my summer just got exciting. You gotta think. Some people probably, like, planning on, like, oh, we're gonna go to the beaches, we're gonna go all these vacations. Fuck that. I wanna play NCAA Football for, uh, 25. But real quick, let's talk about the game itself. Like I said already, there's a couple of things I really hope they bring to this game. Obviously, number one, Road to Glory. They need to have this in the game. Being able to create a character, be able to go in, start from high school, and then be able to go into college. Starting off as like a freshman, you could be a quarterback, running back, receiver, whatever position you want to be. And you can kind of go from there. And you can like build your legacy at that school. You, if you want to transfer, that would be something big. I think back then you could transfer or could not transfer. I don't think you could transfer back then. Somebody correct me in the comments. From what I remember, you could not transfer, which was the kind of sucky part in this game with NIL and the way of transfer portal nowadays and college football hopefully they make it into that game towards like if you want say I commit to Alabama my first year and I'm there and my I'm not I'm not getting any playing time I can say I'm gonna transfer out of here I'm gonna go to like some small d2 school or d1 school and just go play there and I can get playing time it could be like the same thing in the games kind of like real life you could do it now in the game I would love that the other thing I already pointed out I hope the mascot games are back there was times where I'm an Ohio State fan I would have a full game of Brutus's going up against a full team of Oregon Ducks. It was like so much fun. The other thing along with like Road to Glory, I hope you can load in as a coach and you can be sometimes a coach. Sometimes you want to just be an offensive coordinator, you can do that. Sometimes if you just want to be a defensive coordinator, you can do that as well. I would love to be able to load in, like take like a Vanderbilt or a Missouri or any of these schools that at one point were just like dog shit and they were just struggling. Oregon State or like a some of these, like you know what I mean? Like some of these small schools that are like are struggling or even a D2 school, go in, build them up, recruit, make the make the players better and help them possibly get to like a national championship for all we know and the other thing i already kind of pointed out like i said with the nil thing if players are going to be able to be in the game like at the second you come into college if you're getting paid you can put your name into the shuffle to be in the video game i would really like to be able to go ahead and play like think about it like a couple years ago imagine being able to play as joe burrow uh bryce young uh cj stroud think back to the days of derrick henry imagine if we were to play with those guys we couldn't play with them for all these 10 years because there was no video game that would be pretty cool and then the last thing the cover we don't know who the cover is going to be there's been a lot of speculation about who the cover is going to be all i'm going to say is there's only one right answer it, it's only one right answer if motherfucking nick saban is not on the cover we throw in hands ea nick saban needs to be on that cover asap oh and one other thing i think i pointed i forgot to point out uh madden if the game is anything like madden we're throwing mega hands because i've heard people say that ea sports is just going to take college football and they're just going to basically use the madden system or the madden engine and just upload college football teams to it i don't want that all i really want is ncaa football 14 just update the graphics that's all i'm asking ncaa fo football 14 update the graphics and just sprinkle in little extra things like with the whole like i said transport or the nil thing make it a little bit more fun like to this with today's generation if you can build a game along those lines perfect if you take this game and you try to run it on the madden engine and just make it seem like another madden game it's going to be the most let down game ever and especially for the fact that i've heard rumors saying this game's going to be almost 70 dollars fuck out of here with that shit but i think i'm gonna wrap it up with this like i said 70 dollars fuck that if the game is good and the game is awesome i'll pay the 70 dollars but if the game is like a Madden knockoff, just college football version, fuck out of here. But I'm really excited. I think this game hopefully is a success. But other than that, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys did go into enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on today's video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. If you wanted to watch the entire of this video, let me know your opinion of the whole trailer down in the comment section down below of what you thought about the whole thing. If you disagree or agree with me on if you think the game is going to be good or bad, what you think about all my points about what they need to bring back to make the game successful. Uh, what you think about the trailer, like I said. If you think the trailer was awesome or not, I'm going to say it was kind of let down. It didn't really give us as much details as what we thought it was going to be. But like I said, more details will come in May. So when May comes around, obviously I'll react to it then. What the details are when the game kind of gets more details thrown out there. If you're a fan of the content that I do post here and you want to go and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified the second I post. But without further ado, this has been Dylan Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.